Good morning, everyone. Happy Groundhog's Day. Hopefully we have a light winter for the rest of the six weeks of the winter season. So anyways, today I wanted to bring up because I've got this as an ongoing problem for a client. We've been trying to track this down. Um, it is the blue screen of death memory management error. So um, anytime you get a blue screen of death, um, your computer will generally restart. It's a blue screen with a sad face on it. Sometimes you get to see it for a long enough time to read it and sometimes you don't. But if it happens, and you need to call me on it, try and get the error message because that's the critical part of it. If you're just telling me it's a blue screen death, I have nowhere to really look other than try and find it in the, the event logs and sometimes the event logs are not gonna tell me anything. But this is what you're looking for. The blue screen of death that pops up, you're gonna get the QR code here. It's gonna give you a stop code and it's gonna say memory management. Now this is kind of an elusive problem. Um, because it's not necessarily a problem with RAM, um, although most of the time it is. Um, this problem is, could be a driver issue, it could be a bad memory chip, it could be a bad memory slot in your motherboard. Um, and so w with this particular client um, that I'm working on, um, the problem that preceded this was one of the fans had died on their computer. Um, and it wasn't spinning because it was frozen, uh, but it was still plugged in. We didn't know this until we started getting blue screens. I brought it in for a diagnostic. I checked all the fans and saw, oh, one's frozen. So I ended up replacing the power supply because it was faulty at that point because it was trying to push that fan. Um, when fans start to fail on a PC, um, the power supply will just keep pushing more power to it because, you know, more power. Um, and what happens is, is it triggers a fault in the power supply, the computer shuts off uh, or restarts. Um, and sometimes you will get to see the blue screen, sometimes you won't. Um, it will not necessarily say memory management on that. Uh, once you correct that problem, if it continues to blue screen, which is where we're at with this particular client, uh, they was fortunate enough, uh, it blue screened to them twice in one day. Um, and the second time around, they was actually able to see the code uh, before it turned off and restarted. And they told me it was a memory management error. Okay, so here's the thing. I know the drivers are up to date on that computer because I just had it in the shop here a couple weeks ago and changed out the power supply, made sure it was all up to date and current. Um, the power supply was changed. Drivers are all up to date. So now we're getting a memory management error. In the past, we had a blue screen of death issue with a memory management error, and it was a faulty memory chip. I replaced that one, put a new one in. Now we're getting this one again. So A, we could have another memory chip going bad, which does happen, um, or it could be a slot on the motherboard is going bad. Uh, they do go bad, uh, just like everything else on a computer, they do wear out. So uh, what I'm going to do for this particular client is replace all four of her memory chips in her computer um, and see what happens next. And then what we'll start doing is if this continues to be a problem, we'll pop one out, wait for it to problem, put it back, pop the other one out. Yeah. That's why I said, this is an elusive thing. If you read all of these things where they're talking about, you know, if you, if you look this up on your own, um, it's going to tell you it's a driver issue. Not necessarily. Um, sometimes it is an actual physical component failure. Um, but it doesn't tell you. It's not like a car. You know, cars have sophisticated computers in them now. They can tell you which sensor it is that's gone bad. Um, computers are not that sophisticated yet, although I'm really surprised they are not. Um, but yeah, they're not quite there yet. So we have to do it kind of the old fashioned way of replacing, um, you know, parts until we find the one that's fixes the problem. Um, so like I said, in this particular case, I've already replaced out the power supply because uh, of the fan issue. I disconnected the fan because it's dead. Um, and it was a non-critical fan. It's just one of those pretty fans in the front of your case that does absolutely nothing other than just, ooh, it looks pretty. Um, yeah, does it include, uh, increase the airflow in your case? Yeah, it does. However, if you have a good CPU fan on and a good case fan on the backside, which this client does, the front one, not so critical. Uh, and that was the case that was the front one that died. So I just disconnected it. And when I put in the new power supply, just never hooked it up. Um, and it ran beautiful for 10 days. 
and then this started popping up. So now we hunt down, is it another memory chip or is it another slot and, or is it a slot that's going bad? So yeah, blue screens of death, even though they give you the error message, not always the simple fix. Uh, because like I said, I put in the new memory or put in the new power supply, updated all the software, updated all the drivers, updated windows, ran beautiful to 10 days. And then all of a sudden, boom, done. So now we're back to this problem. So if you are getting blue screens of death, um, like I said, try to get this error code here. Uh, and when you're calling me, telling me you're getting the blue screen of death, uh, and what that error code says, if you have a chance to see it, if you're just getting a blue screen of death and you can't see it, that's fine. Um, but bring it to us. We will go through it and, and try and resolve the problem. Sometimes we can't do it on the first try because we are going by, you know, known protocols. Uh, fix this, 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 and this. And if it continues, this is why we put a 30 day warranty on everything because sometimes we can fix something. It worked great for 10 days as what happened with this client. And then it pops back up again. So, um, yeah. Um, Try and get these codes. It helps. That way we know where to look. And of course, you know, you can always look in the system event logs. Um, sometimes they can help. Sometimes they can't. Um, so yeah, you just go into event viewer, let it load up. And don't be surprised if this takes five minutes to load on your computer. It, it is a big thing. Um, but your system event logs, like I said, I wish it was as good as a car. Uh, but you know those uh, those car manufacturers they custom build all this stuff So they're very specific for what they're looking for on a computer. Not so much doo, doo, doo. See I had an air seven days ago I uh, got a warning in the last hour. Let's see what that says mm -hmm. Uh, didn't grab local activity. Yeah, that's fine. You'll see a lot of errors that are completely irrelevant. Don't be surprised. But yeah, we'd have to go through the event logs here and see if we can figure out why and what and how. Information logins. Yeah, and I failed to log in a couple of times. Yep. So yeah, these things, uh, this is the event logs that tells you information about your computer. Are they worth anything? Sometimes, sometimes not. Um, but that's one of the places we look also. So like I said, if you're getting that blue screen of death, um, and it's driving you nuts, uh, if you know, you give us a call, schedule time, drop it off. We'll take a look at it. Hopefully we can get it in the first shot. Um, most of the times we do sometimes, like I said, there are multiple problems with a computer. You can't see all of them until you fix the first problem. It's kind of like how a car works. Um, you know, you hear this rub, 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 uh, and so you change out the brakes and the rotors and you still got the rub, 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 just to find out it's a wheel hub. Again, same concept. Um, you start going through the process of elimination until you find out what it is and you get it fixed. So, but yeah, give us a call. Someone's sending me a message. Give us a call, schedule a time. You can drop it off or we can pick it up. If you found this video useful, like, share, and subscribe, you know, it's down here this way give it a thumbs up if you liked it thumbs down if you didn't not gonna hurt my feelings either way um there is a subscribe button um you know if you got a google account you can click that subscribe button we drop videos every day at seven o'clock um that way you can sip some coffee and watch a video from us um if you don't have a google account or a youtube account you can find us over on facebook sometimes a little late in getting those posting because like today um, which is the 23rd. I had to go to a service call at six in the morning. So sometimes I don't get those posted until a little bit later on Facebook, but they are usually always there. So anyways, uh, donation link in the uh, video section down below, there's that see more gives you all the links to all the stuff that we do. Um, there is a donation link if you'd like to donate to the cause because YouTube doesn't pay me for this yet questions comments you can leave them in the comment section here or if you got us over on facebook you can always leave a message there too so you guys have a great day i will talk to you later bye bye